Hi, I'm Andrew Berman with Mortgage News Network. We're here in San Diego, California at the Mortgage Bank Association of America's annual convention. Joined with me uh, is Tim Stern, who's the president of VidVerify. Thanks for joining us, Tim. Thank you for having me. So listen, we were just talking about uh, an, an interesting uh, initiative that the CFP, uh, CFPB has mandated on the mortgage industry, the know before you owe. I think we all are very too uh, all very familiar with it. For sure, uh, probably a little too familiar with it. But you have a very interesting way to address this and do it in a proactive way that CFPB hasn't even mandated us in doing this, and it's probably got to get some pretty good marks. Uh, from your lenders if CFP ever looks at. Tell us about your solution and how you're addressing Sure, so VidVerify was created really in response to the crisis in 2008 and 2009 when borrowers complained to uh, the regulators that they didn't know that they had certain features within their mortgage. Right. So vid, what VidVerify does is a communication platform between mortgage companies and borrowers to allow the mortgage company to explain exactly what the more the borrower is buying. Okay. So we send specific videos related to a particular milestone along the process so that uh, borrowers know exactly what they're buying before they sign on the dotted line. So, I mean, give me an example of, uh, you know, with your clients that you have out there, uh, and I know you work with some, with some pretty uh, major sized lenders, um, what are some of the most popular videos that these lenders are sending out to the borrowers right now? So a trade newly enacted, uh, certainly the disclosure videos are very important. Sure. Making sure that borrowers understand the details within their loan estimate as well as in their closing disclosure. Right. So those are critical uh, communication tools for mortgage companies to ensure that their borrowers know exactly what they're getting. Definitions uh, about what is happening during the process are important. Right. Uh, as well as knowing exactly what features of their loan are. If an adjustable rate loan, uh, a, a borrower is getting an adjustable rate loan, exactly what the features, the margin, the index, and so on are. So listen, I don't mean to put you on the spot. It sounds like a great idea. It sounds like something that uh, really maybe should be a part of the process. Do you feel that at any point that that could be something that we would see, that the CFP would, CFPB would mandate uh, some, some kind of you know, access to a video library like this? Because it just, it seems like if, if, you're, if you're a mortgage company and you want to make sure that your borrowers understand, especially if you want to make sure your borrowers understand who are maybe a little more familiar with technology, a little more familiar with watching video and consuming video, maybe these cord cutters, they're, yeah. they're consuming and they're already ready to watch video. Seems like it would be a natural progression to bring a requirement to have more people watch this. Stuff. Well, I hope so. Um, <laughs> sure. uh, I think that the CFPB sees what we're doing and they appreciate the value that uh, we're bringing to the consumer. What we as a company don't make policy for our customers. They have to decide exactly how they want to want to in implement VidVerify. But uh, the CFPB would like to see. M m borrowers have more information. Right. And we can't rely on a written uh, piece of paper that's signed or a, a loan officer saying, I swear I told them this. So what you have with VidVerify is a documentable, auditable trail of what was sent, what was watched, and what was said. Right. Fantastic. Wonderful. Great, great solution to, to, a, to a problem that's a, a proactive approach. Thank, Thank you. you for joining us. Appreciate it. Thank you. And I'm Andrew Berman for the Mortgage News Network. Thank you for watching. This is Mortgage News Network.